The U.S. says if left unchecked, Muammar Gaddafi will continue committing atrocities against his own people. And President Barack Obama says the Libyan leader must follow a U.N. Security Council resolution and halt his attacks. If Gaddafi does not comply with the resolution, the international community will impose consequences. And the resolution will be enforced through military action. The likely first step would involve attacking Libya's air defenses along its northern coast to allow allied aircraft to enforce a no-fly zone without fear of attack. The U.S. has ships and warplanes within striking distance of Libya in the Mediterranean, including submarines and surface ships carrying Tomahawk missiles. We've pretty much got the capability to hit not only the major radars, but probably the major command and control nodes. But actually enforcing a no-fly zone is a big undertaking. You're going to have to maintain probably, let's say, a dozen to two dozen airplanes in the sky continuously, indefinitely. Meaning hundreds would need to be available. Great Britain and France had both been pushing hard for a no-fly zone and are providing aircraft. I can tell the House that Britain will deploy tornadoes and typhoons, as well as air-to-air -air refueling and surveillance aircraft. The U.S. has not discussed its own role in any detail. Its nearest aircraft carrier is far off to the east, supporting the Afghan war. The Pentagon has not given any indication it plans to move more firepower toward Libya. Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, Washington.